So what's going on guys? It's Buffy here. And firstly, I would like to apologize for a couple things. Um I know the quality is not the best right now. This is being recorded on an iPad. So I could do better. I haven't been working in 3 weeks and so that's why I'm going to apologize for no content. Um yeah, basically I apologize for no content. I'm really sorry about that. Anyways, so this video is going to be about me talking about my freshman year of high school and what I learned. So, I've done, I tried to record this beforehand, but something just keeps happening, so hopefully this one works. Anyways, so let me start out with kind of like a backstory about when I was going into my freshman year. I had very bad anxiety about people and... I thought that people were mean, and I just believed that the best way to survive was to avoid all the popular people and avoid as many people as possible, which I learned is a not a good way to live. I was scared of many things, and being afraid is something that you should not live by. So, anyways, I went into my freshman year thinking, I'm just going to, you know, blend in with the crowd, not really care about what other people think of me, which is how I still feel now. But I knew that there was some kind of, it was still kind of wrong, though, that I was not putting myself out there because I knew that I had p potential to do something in a way. So what I did and what I learned was that there are really good people. And I learned this from field hockey. There are some really good people that you can meet in your high school. It's unbelievable who I found. And th this group of people, I hope that I will see them again in 10 years. Most of them were seniors. And they just had a great impact on me and showed what a real friendship could be like. But also... As the end of the year came to a close, I realized that um, people should treat you. You shouldn't. Okay, so there are people that are going to um, not be nice to you in a way, or they're going to be nice to you, but um, I'm trying to word this in a way that's like not, that's like more positive than negative. Um, there are people that are just kind of using you, I guess it's the word to say, use you. Um, they, they really, I, there are, your real friends are the people that want to do things with you, and you and, um, they listen to you, and other people will just not listen to you when you tell them something or whatever. And so what I'm trying to say is your real friends are going to be the people that want to do things with you in a way and are going to want to, they want to listen to what you have to say. Whereas people, when I would say something that I thought they should know, they would not listen. So you get what I'm saying. So there are, so... They overall are good and some bad, I'm not going to say they're bad people, just people that you just shouldn't associate with. And I also realized that um, some people are stupid, and I'm sorry if I'm being, I'm, I'm sounding really mean right now, but some people are just plain stupid and make stupid decisions. And that is something that I know I don't want to be a part of. And I'm really proud of the decisions I made this year when I was put in stupid situations that I didn't really want to be in, in a way. So, I also learned... Well, I also changed in a way. And I feel really... I'm not quite sure how I feel about it because going into freshman year I had a group of friends who I like to group people into 
like, popularity groups, okay? So, there's the overall genre of popular kids, and that's where I was not in. Then there's, and the popular kids are basically, if you know them, and they're in the group. And the group is a comp complicated thing because there are their own uh, fractions of the group. And I was kind of confused on that. But anyways, then there's the semi-popular people who you're most likely known by everyone, but you really don't associate. You, you're you friendly with the popular people, but you know that you can't really sit with them or, or you'll feel uncomfortable in a way. Then there's just... Um, the different people, the people who are different, and they're kind of weird in their own way, and I don't have anything against them, but they can really just do what they want, and I am all for whatever they want to do. So, I was in the semi-popular group, and I, because of this YouTube channel, and, yeah, because of this YouTube channel, and me doing Buffy on the Street, I kind of went from the semi-popular group in a way, to the popular group, which I still can't believe that, that it blows my mind, basically. I don't know how this happened. It's, I, do, I can't believe it. I feel, I was just talking about this with my mom yesterday, and I feel like I abandoned my old friends, but yet I enjoy my new friends. I kind of like being popular, and I like the person I've turned into, but yet I'm wondering why I change. Maybe the change just changed me in a negative way because I lost my old friends, and that is something I would like to apologize for is that I apologize for losing my old friends who were really kind to me and they accepted me for who I was before um, the popular people did. So that is something that I wish they would hear. I don't know if they're going to watch this video, but I've, I, because it just blows my mind. I don't know how to explain it. How I was able to go from having a small group of five friends to being one of the most well known person, pe one of the most well known people in my whole entire school. I just can't believe it. That I was able to go in front of a pep rally and do all that. I don't know. So, overall, I kind of, I like where I'm at right now. I like the fact that people know who I am, but I'm also sad about the fact that I kind of abandon people, and I, I like to um, quote, so in my seventh grade yearbook, okay, seventh grade, crazy year, another story for later, I had a, te a note from one of my teachers that says, um, don't ever change, and I feel like I am not living up to what she told me, in a way, but I... I per I'm not quite sure if I'm I know that this change was for the better cuz obviously I'm really happy with my life right now but I'm hoping that I'm not changing into I don't want to change into one of those mean people. I want to be the goofy person I am but yet serious at the same time. Anyways, so I also I think the last thing I need to really touch on is that I should you know, go for I should I shouldn't wait is that's what I I'm trying to word it in a way that makes sense so in some situations I've been I think dreaming about things that are just unrealistic and I should know that that is something I can't do, but I still try to, you know, dream about it in a way. And I gotta, there's a part of me that, um, I'm a, I like to dream about the future and what I'm gonna do, obviously. But 
there's a part of me that knows what's realistic and what's not, and I, and I think that has to be used more, you know, in for when I go into tenth grade. What think about what's realistic and what's not. S yeah, that just that's basically it. Just think about th being realistic, but also dreaming in a realistic way. So, if I'm gonna sum up the video here. Because this is really long, and I don't know why you guys are still watching this. But what I learned was how people act and who your real friends are and that real friends are possible. And not only that, but um, change can sometimes be a good thing, but also be a bad, negative thing also. But overall, I'm really happy with what I've done this year. And I'm really excited for 10th grade and what is to come. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later.